Okay, we're going to check out the Lenovo here and see how it works with different modes as far as the using the regular keyboard and the on-screen keyboard. So it depends upon how what mode you have it and whether or not the keyboard will t appear, of course. So the first thing we want to do is go, go ahead and take a look at it. Uh, let's go ahead and bring up Notepad. Let me go do that. And what I'll do is, is that I'll bring it up here closer so you can see a little bit. And the other thing uh, I think I'm going to do is, uh, you know, I'll go ahead and change the font size to something larger so you can see that. We'll go up to a pretty large size here. And then we'll say OK. And so we should be able to see what we're typing here. OK. So now that, we're, now that we have that, we're going to talk about there's no on-screen keyboard right now. So you, that, because uh, we're in the mode where the keys are there, so it's, doesn't think we need it so it doesn't show the on-screen keyboard so if we flip it over into let's go to the tent mode and sure enough on-screen keyboard comes up and so there you see uh, it came up automatically we're still in notepad we're still typing in the keyboard appeared for us to use so then uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, we could type it if this was up on a desk or this angle is a pretty bad angle right here but if I'm a test yeah you could probably go ahead and use it a little bit to go ahead and do some typing and everything it has a nice clicking sound to uh, feedback and everything to do all that kind of stuff and everything so you can do all that so let's move it into another mode uh, now let's go to tablet mode uh, the keys remain there yes yeah, you can see you can click on them and everything uh, let's change the mode over there's several different display modes and let's go to the uh, tablet mode where you can type with your thumbs on either side which is pretty handy except for the fact because of the size of this I can't reach the center as you can see I am a pretty big guy. I got a nine and a half inch hand span. I can't reach the center with my thumbs easily. So it's not like a little ten and a half or ten point six inch screen there. Right? So let me put my old guy geek feet out there with my slippers and see if I can type on it while I'm sitting there. Well let's go back to the regular key uh mode and I'm in my lap and I'm sitting there watching some TV and I can want to type and sure enough, uh, it does fine. Uh, I can go ahead and uh type whatever I want and everything, so that that works uh well. Uh, oops, I uh, I pressed the uh, Windows key by accident, obviously. So let's go back to Notepad, okay? Uh, it doesn't work, again, unless you uh, switch it back that way because I got out of it and went back in it again, so I have to bring the keyboard back. So you can use uh, the keyboard in this in regular desktop mode with the application that uh, has text input. But let's go back to the Windows mode for a second. And you'll notice that when we're on desktop, normally you can sit there and just start typing on your keyboard to bring up a search and everything. Well, you can't do that because there's no keyboard here. Now, you can bring up the keyboard, but you can also just type the search, and sure enough, your keyboard pops up when you have a text box available. So there I am there. I have a text box that popped up and everything while I was in search, and again, it hides as necessary. So let's find out what happens when we're in search and everything, and we decide to move uh, our orientation a little bit and see what happens with the keyboard. And there, even in portrait mode, you'll see that it drops into a portrait mode keyboard, which probably is going to be really easier to type with as far as size goes. Upside down, it doesn't care. It uh, doesn't care how you use it in tablet mode. It orients itself to work with you on that. One of the ways that I like to use a laptop is in what they call stand mode. The keyboards are facing down. If you look at our recent video on the cover, how you can protect your keyboard using the cover that you can buy for the laptop. But you can type very easily when you're in this mode. Uh, it's in front of you on a desk. It's higher up. It works uh, a lot better. But the point of it is, is that if you're in desktop mode, you notice you have to. When you switch to it, you're going to have to bring up the keyboard unless you're rotating this where it can detect it. But again, you can type very easily in this mode. It has good keystroke clicks kind of to give you feedback and everything so that you can be very efficient in uh, that mode. One of the other things that the keyboard does is it gives you a handwriting recognition mode. So we're going to just write it in hello really quick here. And see, let's see what happens. Uh, oh, look, hello came up. We say insert. It's in the document. So uh, if you play with this a little bit, you'll find out that you can actually uh, do pretty well with handwriting recognition. It's pretty accurate. Uh, this has been working this way since Windows uh, 7 on my old laptop. Again, different modes available to you, different ways to deal with it, uh, particular situations, but it works pretty well. So that's the Lenovo Yoga 13 with its on-screen keyboard. It works pretty well. I encourage you to play around with it and see what works best for you. Mm -hmm.